What's up, my name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot and in this video I'll be showing you how you can set up Among Us with proximity voice chat as you've probably seen a couple of YouTubers doing. Now before we get into this video, no it is not currently available for Among Us on mobile devices. This open source project may or may not come to it, I don't create it. Hopefully at some stage in the future it'll have some sort of port for a mobile device, but for now it's PC only and this also means that if you have Among Us on Bluestacks, meaning that you play it for free, then it won't work either. This program needs you to own Among Us and play it through Steam. So with all of that aside, if something does come out in the future, I'll make sure to link it down below if I make a guide on it. Anyway, let's get right into setting up Among Us with proximity voice chat on PC. So first of all, head across to the description down below and click the first link, which will take you across to github.com slash automated slash crew link. This is the official open source GitHub page for crew link, which is exactly what I'll be showing you in this video. Simply find your way to this page and look on the right hand side for a releases section and then click the one that says latest next to it. As such, currently it's 1.1.2. After doing this, simply click on the EXE to download the installer for it. This is all you need to do from here. Simply click the EXE when it's done downloading to launch it up. There we go, now it's simply installing CrewLink and it's completely done. Waiting for Among Us, open game, and we've got a couple of links to automated. On the top left, we have a settings button where we can choose a default microphone. The naming scheme doesn't seem to show everything, which is a bit weird, but hopefully you'll be able to find the correct microphone and speaker device. Then we can choose to activate with voice activity or push to talk. Simply clicking push to talk, we have a push to talk key input over here. By default, it's V. I'll leave it at voice activity, We'll scroll down and we see a shortcut to quickly deafen all incoming audio from other players. Then right below it, we have the voice server, which currently is set to the default public voice server for CrewLink. If you'd like to know how to set up a private server, make sure to check the description down below for a video on that. It's a little bit more in depth, so if you can, you should be sticking to the default public voice server unless it's too crowded. Then we have the ability to show or hide the lobby code and use stereo audio in lobbies, which you should leave both of these on by default. After we've set everything up, you can simply click the arrow in the top right to minimize it and we get back to this page here. Simply click open game to launch up the Among Us app through Steam. As you can see, there's a small update, play game, and it's launching up. Of course, I'm launching it in a nice small window just so we can see everything that's going on here. All we have to do is simply click online and we can host ourselves, join a public game, or enter a code for a private game. I'll simply be hosting one over here and now I'm inside of the game. You should see in just a second that it says the game code. If it doesn't, simply click the X to close out of the application and then reopen CrewLink through the shortcut on your desktop or your start bar. After doing this, you should see yourself appear like this. As you can see, when I'm speaking, around my character is highlighted, meaning that I'm speaking properly. As you can see, it's got the same character model as I have in game and it's hooked up properly. The code for the game is the same inside of here. Awesome. So all we have to do is simply join this on another computer account or get our friends to join. I'll simply launch it up on my laptop without having this application installed and set up. Then I'll simply join it with the same code available on my main screen, NBM PDF. So join game and you can see we're now in the lobby. Here is Kevin. Having a look at my main computer over here, you can see Kevin has a red icon around him Hovering over him shows me his name. Moving around on my main PC moves me around on my laptop, which is the view in the background here. As you can see, voice chat is currently not connected. What can we do to connect it? Well, it's pretty simple. Just download CrewLink and install it and open it on any other devices you want to have voice chat on. So on my other computer, I'll simply open up the start menu, open up Chrome, head across to the CrewLink site, download it once again and install it. If you see something like this, simply click more info and then run anyway. There we go. As you can see, without even having to relaunch the game or anything, it is simply just working off of the bat. My name's Kevin, here I am, and when I talk on my main computer, you can see the blue icon appear over here. Now, of course, you're seeing both of these illuminate as I'm talking and I'm right next to my laptop, which is physically next to me. This is my laptop screen over here, and this is my desktop screen over here. Let me quickly mute my microphone on my main PC. This is me talking on my laptop. As you can see, only Kevin was illuminating, meaning that the voice chat was coming through properly. So to demonstrate a bit further, let's go ahead and start a game and run away from each other. There we go, I've joined a public game on both of these accounts, and I'm the only one with it installed and speaking. There we go, we're hopping into the actual game. I'll simply navigate away from the other account on the server, which is Kevin over here. 
As you can see, I hear him talking currently, but if I walk away from him or towards him, he progressively gets louder and softer. I'll quickly demonstrate now. Wow. Something similar to that. And as you can see, proximity voice chat is working exactly as expected. Cool, now that we've done that, we're done here. Simply closing out of the game will return you back to the screen over here where it simply waits for another game to start. It really is just that simple. That's about it for this video. Again, if you'd like to know how to set up a private server, I'll probably get into a video on that. Check the description down below. Thank you for watching. Money's been taken over here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.